I'm Luke Costin from Australian Associated Press, and earlier this year I travelled to the Solomon Islands courtesy uh, of support from uh, the Gordon Fellowship. It was a critical national election in the Solomons, but also for the Pacific. Uh, Australia has been a long-term development partner for the uh, Solomons, which is a, effectively a th- a third world nation. China is increasingly showing interest in the Pacific, but and particularly the Solomons. So um, it was a it was a critical juncture for where the country will will go. And while that kind of coverage, some of that can be um, done from Australia, having a ringside seat and being able to tell the stories of people in informal settlements. Um, I spoke to Paul, had his five year old daughter at at his feet, and he was wondering you know, when the corruption will end and when his country can, you know, send its kids to school without people having to worry about school fees. We were able to see people boarding crowded ferries in their enthusiasm to go out to vote in their uh, districts. Um, We were also able to tell the story of women. Um, Very few women are in uh, politics uh, or in parliament in the Solomons. However, uh, a lot of women are increasingly trying to buck that um, that status quo, and also there are women who are involved in the political parties, but maybe aren't um, shown. And those are the kind of stories that you can't tell from a desk in Sydney or Melbourne or anywhere in Australia. So um, I'm very thankful that the Gordon Fellowship was able to help us uh, tell those stories. And if you want to apply for a Gordon Fellowship um, to help you tell these kind of important stories, um, you can apply through the Melbourne Press Club website.